From the outside, they may look like an unlikely pair. One's an 11-year-old with a passion for handball, skiing, and accelerated math. The other is a resident at a senior living center with a love of music. She sings in two choruses and plays in a band. They first met through a letter. That's right, a letter they each received in the mail from the other as part of a pen pal project launched by the Hillside Family of Agencies. What started in the form of letter writing has now developed into something much more. Take a look. Basically, we write people in like a senior citizen, you know, home. We go and write letters and then they write it back to us. Like, like they, they give us words of encouragement, like, um, what'd you do today? How's your day going? Stuff like that. At first, I wasn't sure that I wanted to participate. And then I thought, oh, this is a really good opportunity. This is a wonderful opportunity for me and for somebody, some other child. So I decided that I would sign up. So I signed up for a boy about 14 years old. So of course I was surprised because I didn't get a boy 14 years old. <laughs> Who did you get? I got Lily, 11 years old. Her name's Carol and she's in choir. She just had like a like a performance and I think she does church but I'm not sure. She's very nice and she writes a like she always asks me how my day is going and what's my favorite subject and what's my favorite game and stuff like that. Did you go out in any boats? I know you like to swim. She'll tell me things like she's going to go to Disney World uh, in the fall and that's exciting. And I, I, ask, I try to ask her questions, of course, to make it easier for her to have something to write about. What have you been doing this summer? I think you are going to Camp Cory. So her favorite color is blue. And I asked her what she liked, what subject did she like best? Of course, any kid 11, when you ask them what subject they like best, they say, what, gym? <laughs> yes, although she said math was pretty good. Sometimes I tell her about my math because um, I'm, I'm in sixth grade, but I'm doing eighth grade math. Sometimes I just look at the letters if I can find them because my room's kind of messy, but it makes me, makes me feel better when I'm having a rough day or something. I try to make her know that I really like her and love her and that I care about her. I hope it will be fun and joyful, and I hope it's. I think it's going to be really exciting. I want to ask her her age, but I don't know if that's rude or not. So, kind of debating whether or not to. I'm feeling very excited, of course, and I'm anxious to see. Of course, you you have these pictures of what she might be like, and I'm sure it's all wrong. Hi. Oh. It's so oh, good to it's meet so you. so good to see you, dear. You know, when I saw her, I had planned not to hug her. I thought that's too intimate. I should just shake her hand or something. But when I saw her, I just had to hug her. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. When you have a pin pail, they're very nice, and you might even get to meet them. So I would do it. It makes you feel good. I think I'll read my note. I think it gets you out of your own little world. Sometimes you have to push yourself a little bit. Because I was a little reluctant. I thought, oh, then I'll, okay, it's a, it's a commitment. Every two weeks I have to write a letter. And, and what am I going to say to this person that I don't even know? So forth. But I was, I'm very happy that I did it. And that will probably make it more likely that I will do something else that maybe is a little bit out of my range. Joining me at the desk to talk about the backstory and benefits of the Hillside Pen Pal Project are Mary Alice Schmidt.
Director of Residential Services at Hillside Children's Center. Don Armstrong, Director of Volunteer Programming at Hillside Family of Agencies. And Jennifer Lisinski, Vice President of Marketing at St. John's. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. So I first heard about this project because I was visiting my friend Joyce at St. John's and you were in the room with me, Jennifer, when I met with her and she's a part of the Pen Pal Project. And she had this genuine interest and excitement in describing just what this meant to her. And so I want to know, I was intrigued just listening to her and um, and I want to know how did this project develop because we know how it feels like to get a letter in the mail and, and to send a letter to somebody as opposed to just clicking send on an email. So Don, first, wh why did Hillside develop this program? Why letter writing and pen pals? Well, I'll, I'll tell you that you know, Hillside is always looking for innovative ways to get the community involved with our, our youth and families. It was during a brainstorming session uh, that we had uh, an idea popped up is why don't we try something a little different? Uh, and so the uh, first item on the list was perhaps to pursue a pen pal program. We didn't know where, the, where, where this would go and so we just said, hey, let's try it. We uh, contacted our youth and asked them what, what the, uh, to gauge the level of interest and they were all over the place. Some were uh, enthusiastic, others were somewhat reluctant. Uh, but we had enough interest there that we decided to pursue it. Uh, I had the pleasure of approaching St. John's and their wonderful leadership there, and they were just as excited as we were to, to start this uh, program. And it just took off a uh, life of its own, and uh, it's just, uh, just been a, a great thing for our youth. Well, Mary Alice, for viewers watching right now, and they, they may be unfamiliar with Hillside, uh, and in particular, some of the challenges facing some of the young people um, that are a part of this project. Um, how would you explain, tell us a little bit about the young people, what they're up against, some of the challenges that they're dealing with or have dealt with in life? Yeah, um, so we serve many, many children and families, and um, they face a whole gamut of challenges. Um, and our belief is if we can get them to believe in themselves and believe in their potential, then they can contribute to their community. So a lot of our kids and families um, really are challenged with um, some mental health challenges, emotional challenges, obviously poverty, um, and um, the, some of the kids are in the uh, juvenile justice services as well. Um, but when it comes down to the end of it, um, despite all of their challenges, they're just kids. And they just love to be kids. And so we really try to offer them all sorts of opportunities, and this is one of them. I want viewers to know various campuses within the Hillside yep. family of agencies throughout Central and Western New York, they are involved in this project. As of now, a total of eight community partners are also involved, including, as we saw in the video piece, St. John's here in Rochester. So, Jen, we heard when we heard Carol, she said, you know, I was a little hesitant at first. I wasn't sure if I could commit the time to this. So I want to know, you know, has it been a tough sell to residents to get them involved? But also, what is it about it that when they finally say yes and they sign that application and they say, I want a pen pal, why? Sure. So we have a very active and vibrant uh, community of uh, seniors at St. John's that do many things out in the community. Some still work. Um, so there's there's commitments that they all do and so a demand on their time. So it really, they tell me that it was really uh, Don's presentation, Hillside's goals for the program and providing connections to youth that maybe didn't have as many connections, a way to reach out and develop a relationship. Uh, Jack, one of our seniors said, it seemed like such a trivial thing to do to help a child how could we say no and uh, you know there they get things as well from from this pen pal program um, some of them don't have grandchildren some of them have grandchildren that are far away that they can't regularly connect with so it fills an emotional gap for them as well and uh, some of our residents don't get out in the community so yeah. this program allows them to volunteer uh, from their residence right inside their apartment they can do some good so it's it's been a win-win for us well, the thing that really stood out in the interview with Lily was when she said, I'm having a tough day, and when I'm having a tough day, and I can sort through my room, my mess room, and I find one of these letters, it makes me feel so good to read them. Uh, and Mary Alice, I want to know what type of impact have you seen this Pen Pal Project have on the young people with Hillside? And are there any st stories you can share? Obviously, um, you can't give details because right. there are some, you know, we have to be sensitive around issues with young people, but any stories of someone who maybe was reluctant, you know, mm -hmm. as Don said, that some of the, the young people were, but later has had made tremendous gains or just 
something, some mm -hmm. type of positive impact. Well, obviously, Lily is one of those, right. and you know, she really enjoyed it, and you know, and, and vice versa. Um, but ironically, the other uh, day, I was on one of the units, and one of our littlest ones, he's about six, comes running to me and says, "Look, Miss Marielle, look what I have!" And it was a letter, and I said, "Oh, can you read it?" He goes, mm, "I can't read that." I said, "Well, I'll read it to you," and it was from, I believe, Pat. And she says, dear Tavon, how are you today? And went on and on asking some questions. And he was so enthralled with this letter. So then it was just the opportunity to say, okay, Tavon, we have to answer her now. And he's like, what? So he got to you know, sit down and he wrote her back and he got to share his story. And it just makes their day. And you can see when they anticipate letters coming because they'll come to uh, what we call the central mail area. And they're like, did my letter come today? Did my letter come today? So it really has been a win-win for everybody. And the staff, I don't think we really realize the impact this had on the staff as well. They love reading the letters to the kids, helping the kids. They love when they get to help the, you know, lick the envelope and put it back in the mail. And um, so it's really had a huge impact on not just our children and families, but even on our staff. Anything to help morale. Um, so it's been, it's been wonderful. When we were at that meet and greet um, in the summer, we got to see Lily and Carol meet for the first time. The one thing that I noticed and I wanted to ask about, and Don, I'll give this to you. I was thinking, well, where are the guys? Yeah. Where, and not just for the youngsters, but also for community partners, too. And I'm, I'm wondering, maybe it was just that particular event that I happened to attend, but has it been a tough, you know, a tough sell to get young men involved or to, and on the other end to find community partners that are males to step up and to, to play that role model role with these Yes and yes. Okay. Um, certainly the, the boys on our campus uh, took a first look approach or they just allowed the young ladies to, to uh, go through the experience. It didn't take very long for them to also have a uh, shared interest in the program. The question was, who would the pen pal be? Would it be a male? As you would, could imagine, the younger boys would prefer to have a male. Uh, and so we certainly had to do some groundwork around getting some uh, male partners involved. And again, we were able to locate a few through the St. John's, uh, the great organization there. And so they are just as uh, thrilled by the program. And as uh, Mary Alice indicated, uh, they enjoy receiving, enjoy writing. And uh, so it's uh, we're looking to build that, however, yeah. going forward to have more community partners involved. Uh, uh, would certainly uh, help us a great deal. And Jen, in, in terms of, of, of the folks involved, uh, yeah. you got to hear Carol's story, um, but how are you seeing, you said some, some people don't have grandkids and so right. they're, they're making this connection. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of that relationship sure. building that's been taking place, really. There are great stories. In fact, I would almost think that maybe Don some, does some matchmaking. So um, just one story quickly. Uh, Carol, one of our residents, has been partnered with a youth from your culinary program and they both share a passion for cooking. So they've been sharing oh. recipes back and forth. It's, it's just a wonderful wonderful program. Right. Well, I want to thank all of you for, for joining me. We have to close for now uh, and thank you to my guests as well and to thank Hillside you. and St. John's for the access that you granted us for this special story. We appreciate it. The Hillside Pen Pal Project is looking, as you heard from Don, they're looking for community partners. Learn more and call 585-256-7500.